This is a La Coyo, and it's it's La Coyo, and it's very similar to uh, the Taco Bell bean beef burrito. No, way. no, no. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Don't say that. <laughs> So what is the difference between Taco Bell and authentic Mexican cuisine? What? We can't do that. We had just spent a week in Mexico City. We learned a little. We offended a lot. Not on purpose. With that being said, whatever we do show you during this video, we could be wrong. Please give this video a thumbs up, notifications on, because we're about to discover what is the difference. This video is for educational purposes and not to offend anybody. First thing, the obvious thing, the quesadilla. How could the quesadilla be any different at all? Well, they are. None of our quesadillas came in a plastic sleeve. This is flour. There's our corn. This is not like Taco Bell. They make these tortillas from scratch right in front of you before you buy it. They don't cut them for you because we're adults. This is the Mexican cheese blend. Not in Mexico. They've got Oaxaca and Chihuahua. Chihuahua. That is really, really good. I don't think Taco Bell even has chorizo. <gasps> no, they don't. And if they did, I would be like, I'm not gonna eat that. Spicy, right, JP? Yeah, but this is really good. In fact, I absolutely love the cheese on this and the grill. You know it's authentic when you're sweating. It's got the perfect width for your mouth. That's what I adore about this. It's super flavorful, spicy. It's super spicy. Mm -hmm. It's very spicy. Is chorizo spicy? Yeah. It's like a spicy sausage? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> your eyeballs are spicy. I should have just gotten you chicken or something. Can you turn your head right? Left, excuse me, my right. You know one thing I noticed though, Taco Bell has chicken and beef, right? We have yet to have either. Like this flavored chorizo is so much better than the ground beef or chicken. I know like the fire sauce and the mild sauce and all that stuff is like not that spicy at Taco Bell, but I swear everything in Mexico is like putting my face on fire. Which one do you like better? I like Mexico's better. What's that red stuff on there? There's a hidden tomato? It's a tomato that fell in from something else. Taco Bell's got two standard tacos. Soft shell or crunchy. This is soft shell, this is crunchy. I was raised with an Italian mom having taco night. There's nothing authentic about this. But I was determined to find a hard shell in Mexico for the sake of this video. This is a real Mexican thing. We call it suaves or dorados. It's uh, some beef, like a brisket. It's like one dollar. I'm crushing the chicharron into it. I guess that's what you're supposed to do. The most important thing for a taco is the sauce. This is a real guacamole, not the one that you see in Taco Bell. This is hot sauce. We usually don't mix two sauces for the same taco. Oh, that chicharron in there with the crunch. This is not like Taco Bell, this is delicious. This is the hard shell taco. I love how they put the cheese on the outside. A good Mexican taco, it should be roll up. Like a taquito. Yes! Ah! Way easier to eat than uh, Taco Bell. I tried eating the hard shell in the car. I bit into it, it cracked open on the bottom, and all of it fell on my lap. Spicy, crispy, creamy, cheesy. It doesn't remind me of a taco by any means. Ooh, that beef spicy. Is it? Is it not supposed to be spicy? This is not as spicy as this with the sauce, so it's mild. Mild Mexican is like Diablo Taco Bell. Who'd have thunk it? Is this meat or bean paste? Oh. It's Taco Bell meat. Ta -ta. The Doritos Locos Tacos. Is it authentic Mexican cuisine? Yeah, no. Doritos? No. But is there an equivalent? A lot of people on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook recommended that we try a pimbazo, which is a torta dipped in some type of red sauce. I don't even know what it tastes like. This pimbazo we kept seeing on the streets, the street food was so uh, vibrantly orange. You know, they have the bread, the bun, they dip it in chili sauce. Then they grill it and then they add like potatoes, crema, some other stuff. Uh -huh. It's absolutely delicious. Oh, you dip bread in sauce and then grill it? It's a delicious idea. Julie likes it. Yeah, delicioso. Is there anything like this at um, Taco Bell? I don't think that they have sandwiches at Taco Bell. This is a taco. That's a taco. Nachos are not a thing in Mexico. But what we did find is they have something that I would say is pretty close. The chilaquiles. Chilaquiles is the... Yeah. They put a sauce or a salsa on all of the chips and it kind of soaks in it. And they add chicken or they add an egg and all the cheese. Taco Bell, what do you think? 
Is this the comparable thing to nachos? Or do nachos not exist in Mexico? Nachos, not a thing. Unless you're at KFC, then you'll see them on the menu. But you should show a quick clip of what those nachos look like. Oh God. They had little chip shreds that you put on a, on top of a salad. You know those tortilla strips? You can still buy bags of these though. This is nacho. This for chilaquiles. Uh, it's natural. Yum! I have a very basic palate. I like movie theater nachos. I am a disgrace to every culture. When I was nine years old, I went to a Mexican restaurant and I got a hot dog. My parents will never let me choose where to go out to eat anymore. Anyway, moving on. Okay. Next item, the gordita. You got this pita bread with ground beef, cheese, lettuce, tomato, blah, 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 sour cream, it's disgusting. Did Taco Bell make that up? What's the gordita? Yeah, right? They got gorditas. The authentic gordita, at least the one that we stumbled upon at this lovely mom and pop restaurant, it was beautiful. I mean, like, this is authentic. Like, just seeing her grab the dough and then just stuffing it with something. She put the meat inside. Yeah, and then close into a little ball, like a bow, and then smushed it on the griddle, and then they just cut a slit open, uh, open it up. The way they did that was almost like a pita. Illuminati confirmed a pita is a gordita. You know what you could do with that, though? You could fold it like a taco, add more meat and cheese and lettuce and tomato on it and make it look like Taco Bell. I didn't picture a gordita to look like this. It's so good. It's so different. Taco Bell gordita, not even close to being the same. I don't know how I feel. I feel like I've been lied to my entire life about gorditas and quesadillas. Why would they do that to us in America? You can't find Taco Bell in Mexico. And you can't find Mexico in Taco Bell. Tostada. Tostada. That's in one of these pizza boxes. Tostada. Tostada. That is fresh. Oh. Gracias. The tostadas are way better than the ones we have. They just fall apart in your mouth. I used them in my giant nachos. Yeah, right. They don't do this at Taco Bell. I'm starting with the spiciest one. Good. That is so freaking hot. Is it? Do not eat that. It's probably habanero. It, it is, is habanero. So That's good. It's not that bad. Mexican pizza. Obviously, we did a whole video on Mexican pizza, but none of it's like a Taco Bell Mexican pizza. What is this? It is such a bizarre idea. We made it once on the channel. Yeah, an obligation. Taco Bell's like a YouTuber. I have to please everybody. There's nothing in Mexico that's a Mexican pizza, except this. Sopas. Yeah, I saw some sopas. I'm like, dude, is that a Mexican pizza? Yeah. But anyway. We're trying to compare it. We really are. It's got beans, cheese, looks like lettuce on there. When I asked them, how do you eat it? Like you cut it like a pizza. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think you eat it like this, Jules. No, I don't think you eat it like that either. They're like, no, you fold it and eat it like a taco. They probably make this here because it's a little thicker than a regular flour tortilla. I think it's a stretch to say that's a Mexican pizza. I don't think I'm eating it right. These flavors are not at Taco Bell. Next one, the chalupa. Is that made up from Taco Bell? No, it is something we found there, isn't it? We finally found the chalupa, guys. That looks like an empanada. Sounds like you're farting really loud. <laughs> that was impressive. <laughs> Here, you do it yourself. But this is traditional for them, you know? Is it spicy? No. This is what I'm gonna do. Not like Taco Bell. Maybe we shouldn't have done chicken like the chorizo one we had. We made chalupitas at that lovely couple's house. What are you doing on your phone? You know I could see you over here. <laughs> it's the first time I'm cooking in Mexico. I definitely want to represent my, my brand. We made chalupitas with them. It was fun, we did it from scratch. We got like the dough, we got to work with our hands. We pressed it out, we grilled it on both sides, and then we built it. A little cactus in there that we grilled up. Julia spent the whole day cooking with these people. What do you think? The chalupa, kind of a mystery right now, unless you guys can help us out in the comments. Oh, a boat, not a bowl. It's a canoe. It's a canoe. Oh, it's a boat. It's a boat. Taco Bell sells burritos. Everyone sells burritos. Kidoba, Moe's, Chipotle, Pollo Tropical, Baja Burrito Place, Burrito Heaven. You better think of two more. Bomb Bomb Burrito Man, Burrito Drop. The burrito's Tex-Mex. It's not a thing in Mexico. Where did we see the closest thing to a burrito in Mexico? The streets. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a burrito. Oh, I just got a mouthful of sour cream. I swallowed. 
Yeah. They had a breakfast burrito yeah. at McDonald's. And guess what? That tortilla thing was amazing and it was not flour. <laughs> Tamales! Here's a picture. Does Taco Bell have it? No. They do not. Moving on. So in Mexico, you find the tamales find you. There are some guys that go around the city with some bicycles. Tamales, calientitos. Hopefully, we can find this guy. Unfortunately, we didn't actually get to try any tamales. Well, growing up, I had like this candy. It was called hot tamales. This tastes nothing like a red chewy candy. I feel bad we didn't eat it there. Yeah. Yeah, well. we, we missed out. Enchiladas. Here's a picture of it. Taco Bell. They had something like that. It was like a smothered burrito at one point. I'll throw a picture of that. Smothered burrito, enchiladas, huh? Pretty yeah. close. Rolled chicken taco. What's the equivalent to a rolled chicken taco? A taquito? A flauta? Yes. Yes. Also, taco dorado. Authentic Mexican food is way better than Taco Bell. They don't have salsa. Salsa at Taco Bell? They don't have salsa at Taco Bell. I just realized that. Next one, menudo. Oh, soup. Pozole. There's some radishes, lettuce, masa, and there's some pork in here too, okay? Mm. I think you guys are gonna really like this soup. Yeah, when I got that meat in that bite, that was everything right now. It just has like a nice texture. This is my favorite thing I've had in Mexico. You cannot find this at Taco Bell. The next one, empanadas. On the dessert list, this is very Pop-Tarty. This is very unauthentic. I don't know, maybe they have dessert empanadas. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, empanada, tomato, tomato. Let's just call the whole thing off. Yeah, that's that's not authentic. Next on the list, cinnamon twists. What's the most closest thing that's like a cinnamon twist? Chicharron. Really? I thought you were gonna say churros. Chicharrone is basically the um, flesh of a pig deep fried. The skin. Are you saying there's pork in this? If there is, it's, that's delicious. So what's a churro like in authentic Mexican culture? Absolutely incredible. We haven't tried churros yet, except at uh, KFC, unfortunately. Oh. I know, I know. The churros there, they have like these giant vats of oil that I wish I could have. The dough is piped out of this like perpetual machine of amazingness. Hola, vamos a hacer seis. We usually use uh, only sugar. sugar. The cinnamon is like common, but for some people. It's so cheap to come to Mexico City and have very good food for a small price. Taco Bell, why aren't you selling churros? Oh my God, I will have to share this with you. Mmm, mmm, these are a lot better. So this is a traditional thing to do here. You get the uh, Mexican hot chocolate, you dip your churro in it, and then you shove it in your mouth. It's an experience on its own. It's nothing like a cinnamon twist. I like Mexican food. What's your favorite thing on the Taco Bell menu, Julia? The soda. And the consensus is authentic Mexican cuisine Yay. wins. Exactly. Hey, this way. Taco this way Bell works. is just a soggy poop. Taco Bell is poop soggy. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming along. This is a really fun experiment. I've seen the differences between Taco Bell and authentic Mexican cuisine. Did you enjoy this video, Julia? Yeah, I did. Well, then thumbs the video up. Please indulge us in the comments. Let us know what we miss. We want to know. Every single time. Oh, my eyeball. Out. It's burning. And let us know in the comments other places you'd like us to compare. Olive Garden versus authentic Italian food. Panda Express versus Chinese food. We got to go to China, though. Julia, we forgot one. We did? The crunch wrap. Oh, no. Nothing in Mexico is with a tortilla that is soft and a hard shell. Unfortunately, the crunch wrap is an American invention that honestly is probably my favorite thing at Taco Bell.